there welcome back to my channel and I know first of all let me just say don't mind two fingers here that have no nails yes we're talking stress stress with Easter and the girls birthdays and cleaning and cooking and not being able to go to my um, nail technician so because she wasn't in so yeah my nails came off so I just wanted to get that out of the way because I don't want you saying oh look how ratchet you is, is no no I know but I have to wait until my nail girl is in. So I wanted to do this video because a lot of you have been asking me about um, an update with my hair. Um, I haven't done an update in two weeks and there is a reason. And I had wanted to make a video in those two weeks, but I had people here and I was busy with um, Gianna's birthday. I was busy with my twin's birthday, Easter. Just everything was just like bunching up and then you know, before I know it, two weeks was here and I was like, forget it. Okay, so let's just start with this. First of all, I have a mean, mean headache right here, killing me. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a sinus infection or just, it's, I don't know. Anyway, um, what ha 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 was this? Dennis had started a new job. Yes, it has something to do with my head, okay. Just stay with me. <laughs> Dennis started a new job. Um, he left his old job, found a wonderful new job. But the thing is, the transition from the, the job to the other job, there was going to be like a couple of months or a certain amount of hours that he would have to accumulate in order to get covered with medical from the new job. Um, we could have, they offered, the, the old job had offered a medical and dental plan and all this, it was like $3,000 for the month. It was just like outrageous. So I just told Dennis, listen, we, we will take a lot of vitamin C. We will keep each other healthy. Don't worry about it. Let's just do what we have to do. God forbid, if anybody gets really, really sick, we'll go. We'll have to pay, whatever. So he was like, okay. And we've been doing a really, really good job at that. And he's been working at his new job and loving it. And... What happened was, I was going to do an update on my video, um, on, on the hair growth challenge, but my head was, was like burning a little bit. So I checked out my hair, I looked in the mirror, and to my surprise, I have these lesions. I'm gonna show you right over here. You'll see it right over here. Um, I have these lesions, so you're gonna see it right here, up close and personal, of what it looks like. And I know I was very stressed with, because every time I have to do something, like I have to plan or host a party, whatever, or I'm going somewhere and I have to get dressed up and I have to get ready, and I get really stressed out. So I was thinking maybe it was because I was getting stressed out. Um, when that happens to my scalp, usually like my nails get brittle, um, they, like the acrylic nails come off. Um, I just get dry skin on my feet, on the heels of my feet. It's like a whole bunch of stuff happens. My knees start hurting. So I don't know if it's something within, but that's usually when that happens. But um, I decided to call my dermatologist and tell him what was going on because as you know, it's going to be 10 years. I had squamous cell carcinoma on my head. So it's a scalp cancer. It's a skin cancer on the scalp. Um, and that's how I, that's how I knew I had that. Well, that's what brought me to the dermatologist because I had that. And that's when they diagnosed me with that and gave me a topical uh, chemotherapy, like to put on my hair and everything was fine. So I got a little nervous with that. Anyway, so I called him. I told him what was going on, but I, I actually, I didn't speak to the dermatologist. I spoke to the PA. PA, I usually see, you know, we, I can go in there and not see the actual doctor, but the PA, I actually get more information from the PA. So I was talking to the PA and, um, you know, I told the situation where I don't have coverage and whatever. So they would have to do testing and this, this, and that. And I told him my husband's got to accumulate out. You know, I have a good relationship with her. And I was telling her, and she's like, okay, well, and I told her what I was doing with the garlic. I was doing that hair growth challenge. She says, okay, you know, that that's really, really good to do. It's very good for hair growth, but while you have these lesions, do not do this, um, like, don't put the garlic in your hair because it can, um, 
I guess it can, what was the word she used? Oh, irritate. Easy word, right? It can irritate it because the garlic is very strong, so don't do it. If you want, keep putting like um, castor oil or maybe coconut oil on your scalp just to, you know, take care of it. Let it heal. And that has been close to two weeks and nothing's happening. But I'm happy to say that Dennis accumulated his hours. So I have to call the dermatologist actually today and make an appointment and so that they can take care of it, see what it is, uh, see if it's like eczema. I'm hoping for eczema and not squamous cell carcinoma. So a lot of prayers would help for me. Um, and that's it. So as you see, you know, those lesions, oh, it just... And it's, it, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it looks like it hurts, but it doesn't hurt. But it's weird because when I get out of the shower, I actually see redness. You can't see it now because I didn't shower today. I know, I know, thank you. But like last night when I, when I do my hair, and I try not to scrub my scalp because I don't want to irritate it anymore. But when I get out, sometimes I see it looks like a rash coming down and it comes down on my forehead and I'm like and then after a while it goes away but it's just really weird so that's what's been going on with my head so I am taking a break from it um I desperately need a dye job and they told me not to dye my hair I don't know who this is but I have to shut it off because that's being rude but uh yeah so I can't dye it until it all clears up but whatever so that's what's been going on with me i hope you all are doing well on the challenge i hope your hair is growing like crazy and um yeah that's it so if you have any questions or comments for me please leave them down below and yeah that's it and i guess just look out for my next video hopefully i will be doing an update next week hopefully everything will be clear and uh i can have a very you know i can start my garlic again um and that's all i have for you i hope you guys are doing great i hope you guys enjoyed your passover easter whatever you celebrate i know i did it was my twin's birthday on easter sunday so i had a lot of people here i i cooked oh my god i made so many good things i made wait, let me just tell you I made uh, a spiralized ham. I've never made a spiralized ham. I usually buy like the pink ham that's already cooked and just heat it with pineapple on top. But I put in the slow cooker. What? Put in the slow cooker with um with the glaze that it came with. It was so good. It was smoky, a smoky brown sugar glaze. What? I made that. I made stuffing, corn, a nice salad. I made pasta, meatballs. Oh. So it's time to get back, back into the groove of trying to lose weight. Summer is coming, yes, and Cancun is coming. Going to Cancun in July, so I really want to focus on myself and start working out and doing maybe some exercise videos or whatever. But I am trying, most importantly, I am trying, somebody's calling me, I am trying not to stress out. So, you know, I don't, if this is due to stress, I just want to take everything, you know, nice and easy, not stress out, breathe a lot, um, you know, like, not meditation, but you know what I'm saying, just like, like, collect myself and just breathe and just tell myself it's not worth the stress. Because, really, people stress over big things. The things that I'm stressing over are not really big things. I mean... Everything is going good. It's those little, little things, those everyday little things that, that stress me out and I have to stop. So yeah, so hopefully everything will be good with my scalp and I can get back to the challenge, but I don't want you guys to stop. Keep going. Let me know down below how, how it's going for you. And that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. And that's it. Mwah. I love you all. Bye.